This work is called Imaginal Pathways. I came to the title through this idea of imaginal cells and caterpillars and how they are the catalyst for the metamorphosis process. What interests me in that is this idea of change. Art and the imagination um, can play a part in creating these new pathways in the brain. This work is made from seven muslin panels. What I did is I used gelatin capsules which with boiling water melt and completely kind of transform and stick onto the muslin. I'm using this needle I found in India and I can really just decide how long I'm going to make these loops. And really that kind of created this idea of being able to reference plasticity, this movement of thread, like the connections in the brain. What happens is sometimes when I'm sewing, it leaves these holes, almost like these kind of imprints or memories. We're only plastic to a certain point in our childhoods and then in adulthood we're just kind of static or stuck, which is what we used to believe has changed and modern science is saying that, that we're able to heal ourselves, we're able to change our experience and to create new maps in the brain. In a way I look at all these different coloured cotton threads as different synaptic connections that are formed and different experiences. Putting them together like this, it's, it's in a way it's kind of weaving the fabric of life. When I'm working, I like to work with choice, how I'm going to sew, how I'm going to um, connect one part of the muslin work, coloured piece, to another part. The, the magic happens while I'm doing it. 